Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hey, good evening. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to one more session. Welcome, Veronica. We have Angelica. Buenas we noches, have teacher. Dancing. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, Dancing. Uh, we have uh, Jessica Esmeralda, Jessica Franco. Buenas noches. Hi, good evening. We have Joaquin. Good evening. Good evening. Jessica Vanessa and Sandra Marisol. Oh, good evening. Eh, Juan Antonio also. Good evening. Buenas noches, teacher. Yo voy a estar en opción de escucha nada más por lo antes okay. mencionado. Ok, perfect. Not a problem. Jessica Esmeralda, right? Okay. Now we're going to remember about what we studied yesterday. Do you remember? Do you remember yesterday where we were studying, we were practicing? Hello. Can you, can you hear? Te escucha. Yes. 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 Okay, let's remember what we studied yesterday. Remember that we were with the adjectives. We were with some adjectives of appearance, but also we were with adjectives or personality. Now, we continue on this part. We have uh, others too. For example, beautiful, pretty, elegant, handsome, cute, funny, gorgeous, ugly, attractive. But we have others. More vocabulary here. Now, these ones are also to describe character and personality. So this one, basically, they are internal characteristics of the person. For example, attentive, calm. We have a smart, that is a synonym of intelligent. So you can say in two manners. If you say that a person is intelligent, then you say it's smart. So it's, they are synonyms. Faithful, you say that faithful, pessimistic, friendly, that you like to have a lot of friends, nervous, optimistic, honest, obedient, lively, hardworking, they like to work a lot, happy, good tempered, that means in a good character, humble. Now, Let's see other adjectives. Pueden ver bien la diapositiva, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very good. Nice. Okay. We have other examples here. Another adjective is nothing. You know what's nothing? Have you heard about nothing? What is nothing? Nafi, do you remember that famous series? There is a famous series that is about a girl, but also is Nafi. If you say Nafi, that means travieso, travieso, traviesa. That's another adjective. Normally, kids, kids are Nafi because they like to touch different things, right? So it's Nafi, Nafi. Let's see the next one. Proud, proud. What is proud? Proud. Excellent. That's perfect. You say, I am proud because I am learning English. You are proud. I am proud because eh, I got a prize, a present, a gift. I got a medal. Another one, it will be unhappy. Unhappy is the contrary thing. Happy. Lazy. What is lazy? Perezoso. Perezoso, Aragán. Yeah, that's good. Dishonest. Well, the contrary, then honest. Talkative. Okay, we repeat here talkative. Do you remember? What is it? Hello? Uh, 
hablador. Ajá, hablan ting, platicón, platicón. So they like to, to speak a lot. What about generous? It's very similar than the Spanish. Generous, that you like to help the other persons. Now let's generous. see. Excellent, that's correct. Let's see untidy. What do you think is untidy? Look at the picture. Untidy. What do you think? It's Desarreglado. Fine. Ah, very good. Yeah, desarreglado, desordenado. Now, we have another one that is hypocritical. Hypocritical. Yes, it's like to sign a person. Unpleasant. What will be unpleasant? It's, it's something that you don't like. Desagradable. Unpleasant. Now we have another one that is disobedient. Well, the contrary then obedient. Right? Disobedient. We have other examples. Now let's give here to describe friends, to describe your family, to describe different persons. So we have more adjectives to describe personality. We said nafi, okay, remember nafi, sensitive. What do you think is sensitive? Sensible. 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 Very good. Yeah, that's good. Yes, yeah, sensitive. So you can be a sensitive person. Emotional. Emotional is very similar than sensitive. So that's emotional. If you have a problem, maybe you cry, maybe you feel sad, you are unhappy. So very emotional. Mean. You know what's mean? What is mean? Mean is a person who is like a very rude. They don't have like a good manner to treat the other people. Grosero, pésimo. That is mean. So that is a mean person. You can say, for example, eh, my neighbor is very mean. Es muy grosero, pésimo. That is mean. That is a mean person. Rude is very similar than mean. It's rude, pessimo. So they are they are synonyms. Mean with rude. Funny, okay. We know what's funny. Also talkative, right? We mentioned before. Optimistic, pessimistic, the contrary, and tidy. We mentioned before also that with a person who does not like the order, they don't have organization in nothing. So let's practice it here. Uh, we have some questions. It says, what's Bye. your favorite? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the class. So we are here with both adjectives to describe people. Now we have some examples here. It says, what's your best friend like? You remember that yesterday we also practiced a little bit about that. What's your mother like? Oh, she's very intelligent. She's beautiful. She's pretty. She's generous. So we can here investigate about other persons and describe them. Physical appearance or the personality that they have or internal characteristics. So let's see. What's your friend like or your best friend like? She's very smart. Remember that a smart is intelligent. They are synonyms. What's your mother like? She's really optimistic. Now, when you use very, es para ponerle más énfasis a la característica. En este caso, al adjetivo. Very smart. Really optimistic. Realmente optimista. So they put more emphasis on that. Now, let's see another, another case here. What's your sister like? She's a little smart. What's a smart? Intelligent. Es poco right? inteligente. Uh -huh, correct. You say a little, right? Un poco, un poco inteligente, right? So it's a little smart. Now, what's the doctor like? You can also say, he's a little serious. No, un poco serio. He's a little serious, but really polite. 
pero realmente cortés. Polite means cortés, alguien que, que es amable, que es cortés con, con las demás personas, pues polite. Okay, now we are going to continue with this. Let's see, Brenda, read uh, the question number one, please. What's your sister like? The, the microphone, please. Eh, ¿Cómo fue la pregunta? What's your sister like? Very good. Thank you. Kevin, the answer, please. Kevin? She's a little smart. Very good job. Nice. Continue. Jessica Rivas. The question. What's the doctor like? What's the doctor like? Very good. Juan Antonio, the answer, please. I know. It's a, li a little serious. Serious. But really serious. 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 But, but really polite. But polite. Really polite. 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 That's good. Let's repeat it. Polite. It's a little serious, but really polite. It's a little serious, but really polite. Polite. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. Now let's go ahead with. More practice, time to practice. Now, let's see here. We're going to repeat this one. It says, he is really tall. Look, more emphasis. Really tall. He's really tall. Excellent, that's good. He's short. Look, Garcia. He's short. Very good. He's short. Short, very good. Look, Garcia, repeat this one. He is a little heavy. He is a little heavy. She's, she's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. Very good. That's nice. Let's continue. Brenda, Brenda Quintanilla, repeat this one. She's really friendly. She's really friendly. Really? Really? Friendly. 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 That's good. Let's repeat it. She's really friendly. She's really friendly. 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 Very good job. Nice. Veronica, repeat this one. He's handsome. He's handsome. Very good. Loida, she's thin. Loida, are you there? No? Catherine Rebecca? Yeah. Yes, let's repeat this one. She's she, thing. She's thing. 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 That's correct. She's thing. thing. Very good. Nice. Miguel Antonio. Thing. Very good. Miguel Antonio, repeat this one, please. They are good looking. They are good look looking. That's right. Angelica, repeat this. She's very pretty. She's very pretty. Pretty, very pretty. Very pretty. That's correct, good one. Okay, now let's see. Jensi Alexandra, he's quiet. <laughs> Sorry. Repeat this one, please. He's quiet. He's quiet. That's correct. Good one. Joaquin. She's talkative. She's talking. Talkative. Talking. Tib. Tib. Talkative. Talkative. That's right. Good one. Okay. Now let's see. Carlos Arturo. She's shy. She is shy. She, she's shy. She is shy. That's correct. Right. Good one. Santa Marisol. He's funny. He's funny. He's funny. He's funny. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Now let's see. Jessica Franco. She's serious. She's serious. That's correct. Right. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Let's continue practicing. Now, you're going to give me your examples. 
Now, I have here the model. You are going to make sentences. For example, like this, it says, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker Chris is a little heavy. Now, I will write another example here. Mm, what is my coworker? Coworker is the person that works with you in the office. Let's say in the same company. Let's say that you work in Claro. Imagine that you work in Claro for that company. But there is another person that works in Claro. So you and your coworker work in Claro. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So what is coworker? What is a coworker? What is, what is a co-worker? Un compañero de trabajo. That is a co-worker. Hello? Hello? Can you hear it? ¿Se escucha? Yes. Yes, yes, you can. Okay, now, let's make some more questions. I will write my, in my case. My best friend, Fatima, is really talkative. Okay, so notice that here, my best friend's name is Fatima, right? Her name is Fatima. So that is my best friend. And I give a description of my best friend. I'm saying that. She's really talkative. That means that she likes to talk. She likes to make conversations very much. Now, you formulate one. Jessica Rivas, give me an example, please. Jessica. Except, example four? You're going to use uh, make an example uh, mentioning a person. The person that you prefer, maybe is a member of your family, a friend, a co-worker, but describe. Describe using the adjectives. Con algunos de los adjetivos de la imagen. Aha, or different, or de los que hemos visto. Remember, they can be good looking, they can be intelligent, they can be short. Talkative, friendly, serious. My sister is very funny. Very good, okay. My sister is very funny. Excellent, thank you. Continue, Oscar Mesa. Give me another example. Presente, acabo de presente. Siga. I'm sorry? Ah, okay, give me an example, please. Make a description. Mm -hmm. Describe a person using maybe uh, a little, a little short, a little tall, thin, handsome, good looking, serious. Okay, my friend John is really tall. My friend? No, but different. Create, create your own example. Crea uno usted. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother. Ah, very good. So, my mother lives um, so far away from this um, department. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So, how can you describe? ¿Cómo describirías tu mamá? Is she tall? Is she serious? Is she short? Uh, she is uh, uh, serious. Serious. Okay. My uh, mother. She is serious. Serious. Okay. You can. My mother say serious. Mm -hmm. Is serious, all right. Ooh, my mother, my she's mother, serious. My mother is serious. Serious. Mm -hmm. Serious. Okay, so she's a serious person. Good one. Okay, now let's continue with the other slides. On the next one. Let's see, Sandra Marisol, give us another example. My father is tall. All right. My father is tall. Is he very tall? Mm, no. No? 
No. No, okay. So only two, right? Like a normal size, normal height. Okay. Let's see. Carlos Arturo, give us another example. Describe a person. My wife is very smart. That's all right. Good one. My wife is very smart. Very good. That's nice. Continue, Luz Garcia. Uh, my aunt is shy. Is shy. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Let's continue with Rene. Give us another example, please. My wife is pretty. Is pretty. Very good. My wife is pretty. Pretty. Uh huh. That's right. Great. Let's continue, Brenda. My wife is pretty. Nice. My baby. Mm -hmm. Excellent. My baby. He's cute. My baby is cute. Inquieta. Oh, I'm quiet. I'm quiet. Like this. Yes? I'm, I'm quiet. quiet. Oh, very good. Let me be. My baby is I'm quiet. I'm quiet. My baby is in quiet. I'm quiet. Brenda, repeat it, please. My baby is I'm quiet. I'm quiet. <laughs> Brenda, can you repeat it, please? Brenda, can you oh. listen? Yeah. My, My baby, baby is I quiet. Uh, very good. That's nice. Thank you. Veronica. Baby isn't quite. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. My ghost. My ghost thing is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Okay. That's very normal, right? <laughs> is nothing. Very good job. Nice. Let's continue. Like that. Loida, are you there, Loida? No? Catherine? Catherine, Rebecca? I'm quiet, I'm quiet. Hello. <laughs> este, my, my brother is tall. My brother is tall. Is he very tall? Is he very tall? Hola. Is he very tall? He's really, really tall. Okay, really is tall. Is he really tall? Really tall. Okay, that means very, very tall. Boy, boy, alto. That's great. Nice. Now, let's continue, Kevin. My girlfriend. My girlfriend. Uh huh. Is very. Yes. Really? Really? Serious. Really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really serious. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. Good. Now, Miguel Antonio, your example, please. My uncle is very thin. Very thin. Excellent. My uncle is very thin. Very solo una, con, eh, yes. solo Kevin, una yes. consulta. Mm -hmm. Eh, ¿Qué significa cousin? Cousin. It can be uh, cousin. Primo, primo o ah, prima. Ajá, puede ser ah, okay, primo okay. o prima. Trabaja para los dos géneros. Primo o primo. Uh -huh. Cousin. Es, like cousin. Ajá. Para, cousin. digamos, saber si es eh, primo o prima, podemos mencionar el nombre también. Uh -huh. Podría ser también my cousin Roberto o my cousin Maria, por ejemplo. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Let's continue. Juan Antonio, give us an example. Thank you. Please. My son, Brian, is really friendly. That's good. My son, right? This is son. My son. I, My son, Brian. Brian is. Repeat it. Brian. Brian. Brian is, is really, really, really friendly. Friendly, excellent. Friendly. Oh, that's good. Friendly, friendly. Very good job. My son Brian is really friendly. 
That's right. Good. Angelica, give us another example, please. Angelica? Uh, um, my sister is a kid. Yes. Sí. Quiet. This one? Okay. Quiet. Pero quiet. quiet. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. That's good. Yes. Quiet. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Now let's continue with Jensi. Jensi Alexandra. Um, my friend is intelligent. My friend. My friend. My friend. Is intelligent. Is intelligent. That's great. Nice. Very good. My friend my, is intelligent. Very good. My friend is my friend. intelligent. That's my good. friend. Friend. Is friend. Intelligent. Very good. Friend. Excellent. Friend. Ah, okay. If it's plural, if you say plural, mm, no. my friends. Yes. It's only uh, one or it's plural? Single. Single. Ah, okay. Then it's friends. My friend is uh -huh. intelligent. That is correct. Yes. My friend is intelligent. Intelligence. Very good. Okay, let me see here. We're going to continue with Joaquin. Give us another one, please. Uh, my, my grandmother is January. My grandmother is? January. Generous. You mean generous? Uh -huh. yes. Excellent. Yes. That's good. It's generous. Excellent. That is good. Okay. We have all of these examples. Now, my best friend, yeah. my friend Fatima is really, 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 really talkative. talkative. Really talkative. Very good. Jancy Ramos. We're going to read them, right? Jancy, read the number one, please. My best friend Fatima is really talkative. Repeat. Como? Can you repeat it, please? My best friend Fatima is really talkative. My Betty Fatima is radically too. Is really, really talkative. Is really talkative. Talkative. Very good talkative. job. Talkative. Very good. Talkative. It's platicona, right? Pla Talk good. Talkative. Very talkative. Very good, right? Rene, continue. <laughs> My sister. My sister is very funny. Excellent, very good. Oscar, continue. My mother. My mother is serious. Serious, serious. Serious, serious. Very My good. mother is serious. Very good, yes. Joaquin, continue, please. My father is tall. My father is tall. Excellent. Jancy, my wife is very smart. My wife. Is very smart. Smart. Very good. Okay. In the case of wife, that means esposa, right? But if you want to say esposa, how wife. do you say that? Husband, right? You can also say husband. Now let's see. Uh, Joaquin. Continue with the next, please. My aunt is shy. My aunt is shy. Very good. Thank you. Luz. Continue here with my baby is unquiet. My, my baby. My baby is unquiet. Very good. That's nice. Let's see. Continue with Brenda. My cousin is Nafi. Brenda, can you listen to us? My cousin is Nafi. Nafi, Nafi. Nafi. Very good. That's nice. Yes. Jessica. Jessica Rivas. Nafi. Nafi. My brother is really tall. My brother is really tall. Excellent. Kevin Orlando. My wife is pretty. My wife is pretty. That's good. My wife, wife is pretty. Wife 
It's pretty. Excellent. That's good. Veronica. Aunt. Que es aunt. Aunt. Tía. 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 Ajá. Tía. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Veronica. Tía. Let's continue. Okay. Thank you. Very good. My brother is really tall. My brother is really tall. Excellent. Loida. Are you there, Loida? Are you present? Hello? Present. Yes. Okay. Very good. Continue. My uncle is very thin. My uncle is, is very uh, thin. <laughs> My uncle is very thin. Hello. My uncle. Hello. Hello. My uncle is very thin. My uncle very is very is very is very thin. 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 Yes. That's correct. Good one. Rene. Rene Cruz. Let's continue. My girlfriend is really serious. My girlfriend, 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 girlfriend is really, really, really serious. 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 My girlfriend, girlfriend, es me confunde, no lo puedo decir. <laughs> girlfriend, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, uh -huh. girlfriend is, is really, really, really serious. 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 That's all right, good. Angelica. My son Brian is really friendly. Uh, my son Brian is really, really friendly. Friendly. Friendly, yes, that's friendly. correct. Very good, nice. Let's see, Jessica Franco. My sister, my is, sister is quiet. 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 It's quiet, yes, that's correct. Good one, Carlos Arturo. My friend is intelligent. My friend is intelligent. Very good. Let's continue, Jancy. Jancy Ramos. My grandmother is generous. My grandmother is generous. Yellow. Generous. Generous. Hello. That's all right. Good one. Okay, so we have this one. We got the practice here to describe people. Do you have questions? Preguntas. Do you have questions? What is song? For example, hijo. Any other question? No other questions? Okay. Hola. Hello, hello. Hola, este, teacher. Hello. Yes, you have questions. Este, una pregunta. Por yes. ejemplo, este, yo dije, uh, my brother is, is really tall. Digamos, mm -hmm. si quiero decir mi hermano mayor, mi ¿cómo hermano? puedo decir? O oh, hermano oh. menor. Se puede mi, exacto. Ajá. Si queremos decir hermano mayor, tendría que ser my older brother. It's like this. My ¿Cómo? older brother. brother. Uh -huh. My older. Old, older. Older brother. Porque es mayor que yo. Ah, ya. Yeah. Si sí, es menor? mayor que yo. Si es menor, yeah. entonces tendría que ser younger. Okay. Younger. It's like this. Younger. Uh, my younger. Like this. Is mayor? Menor. My older brother, my younger brother is really tall. Oh, se puede decir my baby brother? Ah, sure, yes, you okay. can say. Uh -huh. Porque es ya como para decir, ah, mi hermanito, pero que está bebé. <laughs> ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Está bebé, tiene que estar bebé. It's my baby brother. Ahora, si quiero say... referirme... A que solo es mi hermanito, porque es menor que yo, mi hermanito. Es my little brother. My little Ajá. brother. My little brother es mi hermanito. Como un diminutivo. Ajá. Ajá. 
si, eh, si uno dice eh, my younger brother, está diciendo eh, mi hermano menor, ¿verdad? Mi hermano menor, es el gerente. No y, si, y, y si digo my older brother, es mi hermano mayor. Mi hermano mayor, my older brother. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pero es mayor okay. que yo, ¿verdad? Si decimos que es el sí, mayor sí, sí. de todos, entonces tendría que ser my oldest brother. Oldest. Right Hola, buenas noches, lo Hello. siento, o sea, me quedé sin energía y sí. hasta ahorita ya se la reconectó. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ajá. Don't worry, welcome to the class. My oldest brother. Oldest. Porque oh, era el mayor de todos. Hermanos sí, mayores. Superlativos. Allá sería un superlativo. Ah, mayor de... es el mayor de todos. Mayor que yo. Okay. Mayor que oh. Sería uno siempre, digamos, el primero, se puede decir. Exacto. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. Exacto. Uh -huh. That's the oldest one. All right, guys. Now, remember that you have exercise, right? But first, we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to pass the list. So tell me if you are present. Going to here. Check the list. Okay, let's start. Angelica Maribel. Angelica? Yeah, Angelica yes. Maria. Ah, eh, your last name is Santos Chicas. No. No. Ah, okay. So is it? Ah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yes. I have another. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, Alicia Maribel. Alicia Maribel. Brenda Marcela. Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Jessica Saraí. Present. Thank you. Joaquin Jesus. Yes. Joaquín Present. Jesús. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Present, teacher. Thank you. Loida Citali. Present. Thank you. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. Maria Inés. Maria Inés. Marvin Manuel. Marvin Manuel. In the hospital teacher. Miguel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Oscar Isaú. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Reina Isabel. René Alfonso. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra okay. Marisol. Present. Thank you. Verónica Maricela. Present. Thank you. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy. Yes, thank you. Yancy Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Yes, she's listening. And Present. Jessica, thank you. Jessica Vanessa. Rivas. Present. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, let's continue then with our session. All right. We studied about the adjectives. We described people. Now we are going to continue with our section four. Remember, now we finish section three. And remember the midterm. Recordemos que hay que, hay que avanzar, ¿verdad? Lo más que puedan con el midterm, con el examen. Now let's continue with section four. Eh, una, una pregunta. Yes, tell me, tell me. Este... 
a más tardar, porque yo no, ter no he terminado, la verdad no he terminado porque este, dijeron que hasta las 3 p.m., ¿verdad? Pero yo salgo de trabajar entonces a las 6, entonces en el, el camino a casa es mentira que iba a poder realizar todo lo que, o sea, lo que me faltaba. No sé hasta, o sea, el límite para poderlo entregar Sí. Fíjese que o si estaba, ya no se puede. nos dieron una indicación que se tratara de, de terminar hasta ahora a las tres, pero Ajá. este, les puede escribir usted a, a ellos en el grupo explicándoles por qué es que no lo ha, no lo ha podido avanzar. Porque como mañana Sí. actualizan las notas ellos, Ajá. ya que ya terminamos la sección 3, entonces sí ya pueden avanzar más en esto para que no se vayan a atrasar. Vale, está bien. Gracias. Bueno. Ok, we continue with section 4. This one, the name is, whose jeans are this? You remember that yesterday? We saw about WH questions, right? In the one we were asked about what, what time, where, why. And this is another WH word, whose. What is whose? Do you remember? When do we The use whose? The quien, excellent. So we investigate possession. So what does this mean? ¿A qué se refiere esto? ¿Qué pregunta estamos haciendo? Whose jeans are this? Como cuál jeans usas, algo así. No cuál, remember that one is which. ¿Y who se investiga de quién? ¿Qué jeans es ese? ¿De quién? ¿De quién son ¿De quién? los jeans? ¿De quién son estos? Ajá, correcto. ¿De quién son estos jeans? Ajá, recordemos que este es el demostrativo de plural, pero para algo que está cerca. So this. ¿De quién son estos jeans? Pues who jeans are this? Now, this one is going to be about clothing. So the objective <clears throat> is going to be in this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary. Particularly, clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. Leisure, that means like a, a para relajarse o en su tiempo libre. So it's two types of clothes that we will study. So, for example, close for work, you have a shirt, this one, tie, blouse, scarf, we have belt, jacket, very formal, yes, belt, uh, you have a jacket, you have the pants, coat, shoes. This is in the case of a man, right? So, for the woman, We have blouse, scarf, right? Like when it's very cold also, you wear a scarf around your neck, right? Because it's very cold. Now, a skirt, then we have a suit. This is a suit, right? We're wearing a suit that means traje. Suit is in traje. High heels. High heels, they are like the formal shoes that they wear. For example, receptionists, wear like a high heels, like tacones, those are high heels. And we have a dress, raincoat. Now for leisure. So what's for leisure? And we're saying like for the free time, right? That you have, para el tiempo libre, para relajarse, right? So we have a, a hat when it's very cold, right? Or it depends on, on the weather also. A hat, you have a sweater, jeans, gloves, you wear in your hands, the gloves, when it's hot, right? You wear different things, but when it's cold, you wear the gloves. You wear boots. And for the men, well, we have a cap, you wear in your head, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers. Sneakers are tennis. Those are the sneakers. Now, we also have like, when you go to sleep, pajamas, and you have swimsuit. Like when you go to the beach, when you go to the lake, to the pool, and to swim, you need swimsuits. Like trajes de baño, right? Swimsuit. Okay, I have all the examples here. When they are very formal clothes for work, you see? 
for the women, we have different one. They are they look very serious, right? Also, the men they look very serious, depending on the occasion, right? That you have women's formal clothes. Well, normally for women, we have, for example, a coat. What is a coat? Abrigo. Excellent. Very good. <clears throat> High heels. High heels are, are this. We know that they are different colors, right? And different sizes. Sometimes they are small or they are very big. The we have a, ah, excellent. That's good. Formal coats. Formal mm -hmm. pants. Also, we know that we have different types of pants, but this in a specific, they are formal. <clears throat> now, another case will be formal clothes. Other example, bow tie. What's a bow tie? Well, there are some of, uh, for example, restaurants. If the person is a waitress, como los meseros o las meseras, hay, pues, hay algunas empresas que les piden que usen corbatín, right? Because this is a bow tie. Bow tie. Then we have a suit that is very formal. Un traje. It's very formal suit. A tie. This is a tie. Dressing shoes. Dressing shoes, they are formal shoes. They can wear these ones. Now they are in fashion. Ahora estos de acá, como los mocasines, están también de moda, ¿verdad? Ya no son solo para hombres, sino también para mujeres que se han vuelto de moda. They are in fashion. We have the high heels, skirt suits, very formal, right? Now, uniform. Uniform, it depends also on the company, right? There are some of the companies that in your work, it's necessary or it's mandatory, it's obligatory to wear uniforms. Let's see more vocabulary here. We have also polo shirts that they are very good to look relaxed. Polo shirts, you see, these two types. You have different colors too. Shirts. Shirts, normally they are, they are formal, but they have buttons. Some formales, right? Normalmente pues tienen botones, so they are shirts. Polo shirts, shirts, they have different colors. And we have trousers. Trousers, they are like formal pants. So, pantalones formales, like trousers. You can say formal pants or trousers. Then we have jackets, that they have different styles and then different estilo, right? So they are jackets. A tie, we know that a tie also it has different colors. Pairs of shoes, also they have different styles, different colors. A hat, hat also there are different styles. Uh, hats for when you go to the beach. Uh, well, the hats for a chef also, right? When they cook. Another one, a belt, different colors too. Now, there are also persons that they wear a specific clothes for a specific day. For example, if it's Monday, they wear a specific clothing. They make a combination. On Tuesday, they have a, another combination. On Wednesday, a different combination. Then we have Thursday, well, another combination. Friday, another one. Look, but it's the same belt. The same color of the belt, and they can make a combination maybe with the shoes with the same color. Uh, on Friday, look at on Friday, normally, and there are companies that they tell you, you can wear jeans or you can wear relax. And hay muchas de las empresas, no sé si en las ustedes también donde trabajan, los días viernes casi siempre es, ah, pueden venir relajados, pueden venir con jeans y con una eh, camisa polo, right? With a polo, with a polo t-shirt. That's why it's on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. So we have different types of clothing here. We have formal, informal, for work. Now let's see more vocabulary here. This is specifically for men, men's formal clothes. 
We have a dress shirt or a shirt. Uno puede llamar solo shirt, que es una camisa formal. O oh, una camisa de vestir, que es dress shirt. Safari suit, that is very relaxed, muy relajado, yeah. It's similar than what a doctor wears, right? Like the doctor's suits that they wear. Waistcoats, doing chalequito, right? Waistcoats. Then we have dress paint, is another type of pants. A vest, es otro tipo de chaleco, that's very formal too. Cummerbund, Cummerbund is this suit, es este tipo de traje que lleva un bow tie, que lleva corbatín. That's a cummerbund. Then we have a sherwani. It's a different jacket. It's a different style of a jacket. Blazer. It's similar than a jacket, right? Pero el estilo es un poco abierto. So that's a blazer. Then we have another tie. And the suit, that is the complete formal clothing. Then we have a jacket, we have a shirt, well, the formal one, coat, trousers, like the formal pants, right? That they can look like this. That's in the case of that, or formal. But now for leisure, that we say to look like casual, it's like for casual clothing, when you go to the park, when you go to the beach, or just to relax. Jeans. We know that jeans, they are casual. Raincoats. Well, a raincoat is a specific, like when it rains, when the weather is raining, then a raincoat is necessary. Then we have like a jumper that is similar, right? And then a sweater is similar than a sweater. But normally you use it to go to exercise. That's a jumper. Track suits. Track suits, como un traje para hacer ejercicio, right? That's a track suit. A t-shirt is a casual shirt. We have also the boots. Boots that also you use to work. There are some companies that they wear them uh, to work, right? And unas compañías en que las botas son necesarias, right? So they are necessary. We have also the sandals. Like when you go to the beach, you go to the park, you go to a pool, then you wear sandals. Sneakers, the tennis, they are synonyms. You use a sneaker there. So you can wear sneakers to, to be relaxed, to be more comfortable. Let's see, I have more examples here. We have belt. Se logra ver bien, verdad, la diapositiva. Yes. yes. Okay, so yes. let's continue. We have a belt, boot, gloves. You see, this one looks for Christmas. Gloves, jeans. We have raincoats, like when the weather is. What is, what, what is different in gloves and mit mittens? I'll go say mittens. The difference is that gloves is where you wear them when it's very cold, like when you go to El Pital or when you go to uh, Canada, <laughs> the United States, cold places. But mittens, mm -hmm. you use it in the kitchen. Eso oh. son para la cocina. Uh -huh. So it's for the... Como, they look como los similar, dos, right? Los dos los miro también como <laughs> con el copito de nieve. Yo dije, <laughs> <laughs> they look very similar. <laughs> it's for mm -hmm. the decoration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So lo que si vemos, observamos bien acá, son, eh, no tienen para cada dedito. Ajá, son como redonditos. Son redonditos, ajá. So they are for the kitchen. Only Pero tenía, ajá, tenía esa duda. They look similar, se ven bien parecidos. So they are gloves, and these ones are mittens. Mittens, blouse, cap. Then we have dress, socks, bra. Sneakers, so not sneakers, but knickers. Knickers, skirt, hat, coat, jacket, hoodie. What's a hoodie? Chumpa, suéter, no sé. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Usa como un suéter, pero con gorro. That's why it's hoodie. 
se cubre y es un, como, como un gorrito. Eso no es un suéter normal, sino que tiene que llevar gorrito. Es hoodie, es a hoodie. Shoe, swimming trunks, it's like shorts. They're swimming shorts. Dungarees, dungarees are also called overall. Es un overall. Normalmente se lo conoce como un overall. Overall or dungarees. Jumper. The jumper, well, it's normally like a sweater too. Tie. Waistcoats. White fronts. Those are white fronts. And the other type, they are boxers, right? But these ones are like other style. Overcoat. So we have overcoat here. And then we have tights. Tights, like medias, right? They are very similar than the leggings, actually. Let's see another one. We have a cap, well, we have sunglasses when you go to the beach, yes? Or when it's very sunny, you want to protect your eyes. You have the sunglasses, a scarf when it's really cold. Then we have jeans, hat, belt, skirt. We have also gloves in generally or mittens, shoes, shirt. Now remember that the shirt is formal. Then we have dress, shorts, boots, t-shirt, socks, trousers. So we have these ones. Now let's see. Do you have questions with vocabulary? Uh, you're perfect. Yes. Y, y yo tengo preguntas. Tell me, tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. Dime bastante. Tell me. Pregunta. Pero es a que, lot of questions. Uh, sí, sí. Eh, voy a aprovechar los minutitos porque eh, yo tengo varias consultas sobre lo que está. Eh, bueno, se dijo que hasta ahora sí iba a recibir lo que es la para la inscripción al nuevo, a la nueva, ¿cómo se llama? La siguiente, la nueva plataforma. Siguiente módulo. Ajá, sí, sí, yo no, bueno, ya las tengo imprimidas, eh, falta llenarlas. La cuestión es que para la primera que entregué, eh, me costó porque no pude pasar los formato PDF, no las pude enviar en el correo, sino que tuve ayuda de alguien. Entonces, de, de un asesor, de, de, de mí mismo. Entonces, hoy no sé cómo hacerlo. Y también la otra cuestión es que estaba viendo yo de que, de que mandan una fichita ahí para llenarla, también imprimirla y, y enviarla también por correo. Para hacer constar que si sí estamos viendo las clases en línea o estamos haciendo uso del material de, 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 que vemos ahí. Ajá, el manual y toda la cuestión. Eh, también estaba escuchando ahí de que hasta ahora las tres daban para qué, o sea, eso sí no lo sé. Para los ejercicios de la plataforma. Para, bueno, ah, para realizar los ejercicios, vaya, Ajá. desde hasta dónde hicieron el corte, hasta el 3 o hasta el 4 puntos. Eh, no, la sección 3, porque esa fue la que terminamos. Es la sección 3, la que de hecho terminamos ahora, pero todavía ahora la podían enviar. Hola, disculpe, es que me, se me cortó el internet, no lo escuché. No, era de la plataforma, pero es hasta la sección 3, porque esa la terminamos nosotros ahora. Ah, entonces hasta cuál, hasta cuál llega. Es la sección 3. Ajá. La sección 3, que fue lo que terminamos, ya le digo, en específico. There you have the examples of the examples. And you have to choose three. De los adjetivos. For the home. Este de acá. Escojan uno ahorita. Tres. Tres. Están los adjetivos. Ajá, son los adjetivos. 3.14. Eh, ese lo completé. Ajá. Lo completé. Ah, perfecto. Entonces ya sí. puedo ir trabajando lo del midterm, el examen. Sí, es que vi ahí la notificación que decía que el 4 a la mitad del 4 y, el, y a pasar al 5. Uh -huh. Entonces yo voy al, al 4.1, creo que es. Ah, sí, por eso ah, lo empezamos ah, ahora. Uh -huh. Ah, va, está bien, entonces sí, está bien ahí. Uh -huh. Sí, solo con la, lo que es la, la, para enviar los documentos, eso sí necesita ayuda, porque eso sí lo puedo hacer. Ajá, o por entonces, lo menos. Ajá, una una hay que notificarle entonces al grupo a Paola, yo creo que él estaba ayudando con eso, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, Paola. Para el llenado de eso, ajá. 
Vale, está bien, gracias. Sí, porque mañana... Hola, hola, hola. Yes, tell me. Una pregunta sobre lo que... Yes, tell me. ¿El examen hola. siempre está ahí mismo en la plataforma o está eh, parte? Sí, ahí mismo está. Siempre en la sección 3, abajito les aparece el midterm. Ah, ah, ok. Ajá, ahí okay. les aparece en el mismo, en el midterm. Esta es la consulta. Yes, sobre lo que estaba preguntando el compañero. Una duda. Esta es sobre lo que yes. estaba preguntando el compañero sobre lo, la inscripción para el módulo 2. Este, ¿Hasta cuándo dan para poder enviar los documentos? Eh, se supone que hasta ahora les habían dado hasta este día 9. Pero si ha tenido alguna dificultad, escríbale a Paola, porque ella estaba a cargo de eso también. Sí, es que fíjate que como este, yo va, trabajo este de la temprana, salgo y ya vengo noche, incluso a la clase me conecto sí. en el camino. Entonces no me acabo de tiempo de revisar este para inscribirme. Ajá. Nada de esto. Sí, ajá, envíele un mensaje a ella, a Paola, porque ella está encargada de eso. Ella les está dando asistencia, como ellos reciben todo eso, ¿verdad? En los correos, entonces ellos les están ayudando con eso, con esa información. Bueno. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question, guys? Thank you. All right, guys. Then you have material. You can continue advancing. Ya vimos acá el 4.1 y ya pueden ir avanzando, ¿verdad? A medida que ustedes tengan más tiempo, traten de ir avanzando para que no se vayan a atrasar. So, ya empezamos acá el 4.1. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, solo, solo eh, con los horarios para escribir a Paola serían a horas hábiles o contesta oh, yo, cualquier hora. De hecho, le podría escribir ahora y mañana, mañana mismo ella lo va a ver el mensaje y le puede responder. Ajá, sí, porque Ajá, así ya le queda a ella grabado ya para que lo mm. vea ella. En base. Llegué ella a la oficina, entonces ya le puede dar asistencia. Sí, porque ahorita no, no creo que, creo que hasta la oficina sí, no, me parece que, que va a dar asistencia. Uh -huh. Está bien, gracias. Thank you. All right, guys. Then we are going to continue tomorrow. Goodbye. Have sweet dreams. Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank good you very night. much. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Yeah.